Welcome to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh, the Note Queen, where we talk about owner financing and notes. Financial solutions, one mom and pop to another. So now I'm going to, for purposes of calculating my effective yield after the servicing, because usually the lender side should pay for servicing. It's mm-hmm. just, it's really cleaner and more Dodd Frank compliant. Hopefully that'll, I don't know, be a lot of regulatory change, hopefully. But anyway, right. um, so really calculate it based on your, what you're really going to get in. Okay. Right. So 335 after servicing and 21,000 there, and you want your 12%, you're going to fully amortize. So let's see how many of the payments you would need to take. 98. So you can either say 96, eight years, and accept an 11.52, or you can say the 90, 98 payments for 11.88, or just say, 99, 99, 99. <laughs> I'm going to take 99 payments. <laughs> and that gives you 12.05, right? Okay. Okay. So then um, then what he keeps, obviously, is he gets he gets a big chunk of change now, which is a really good wholesale fee, right? Mm-hmm. Um, let's just see what you're going to get. You're going to invest 21000 and over nine and nine months, which is just over eight years, you're going to make 12000 in interest, which is great, 12%, right? And every month we can see that there's principal reduction. So every month your investment is safer and safer and safer, and you have your money back to invest in something else. Um, and then he keeps, uh, so recall N, and there's 180 payments. He gets 81 payments on the back side, right? He gets 8,000, 9,000, clears 8, 9 up front, and he still has 81 payments times 335.74. He still has 27,000 coming to him, right? Yeah. So it's better if he's got more on the back end than on the front end because if he makes 20 grand up front he's not going to care about the back end near as much this might be more like 5000 right because if you if we if you give him 28000 so he gets 18000 up front and you need your 12% you're probably keeping well you, that's the whole note yeah that's the whole note you're buying the whole note for 28 and he'll clear uh, but you can see that he gets total 36,000 for this note instead of 18. So he'll double his take if he's willing to ride it with you and keep the back end of the note. Mm-hmm. Well, does that help? Just, it you know, does. and it kind of goes back to, um, what you were saying, my, you know, if I were to back it back down to 60, 60 payments, Okay. The 12.05 percent, like you had had. So you're only going to give 15 grand. And that's kind of, I think, the number you had in your head originally, just yeah, instantly. yeah. That's probably a really, a really conservative, comfortable. And there you're at two, 12 and a quarter. And then he's keeping, but then he's he doesn't have enough. Well, he would. He would have. He would get the 10,000, and you're 15. He'd have 25. Uh, pay off his 19. He'd be able to put probably four or 5,000 in his pocket now. And then, you know, the balance of the note when he gets it back, let's just see. Let's see what the balance would be. What did, the, what did I say it was? 30, 30, 4, 5 is the note. Let me recreate the note at the 180. And I'm doing, for those of you just listening, I'm doing a, the HP 10 B2 calculator right on the, excuse me, the desktop so that you can follow along if you want to. Okay, here's the note, right? We've re- recreated the note. Um, and so after 60 payments, if you buy them, you might want to let him take the first payment so there's not a first payment default and you can't be confused as a lender and get involved in usury, just saying. But just for ease, 
of calculating, oh. you know, let him get the first payment and you buy payments two through 61 or something. Oh, I've never even heard of that. Yeah, because you, the table funding can get confused with, oh, you provided the financing and it may or may not be a problem in your state or with, you know, just, just something to think about. Okay. I don't always follow that advice and that has, hasn't ever been a problem yet, but just saying. Okay. Um, so then he'll he'll still have a balance of uh, twenty eight thousand when he gets the note back and have ten years of payments coming. So thirty he gets, keeps four or five thousand in his pocket now, and he's got basically thirty seven thousand coming to him um, after you're paid off, right? So he makes money. So he created income. His retirement income come out of thin air right. and he does this he does this a handful of times and his retirement is going to be a lot different yeah that right? was awesome i really appreciate you going through all that, does that help yeah a lot okay great it's so i i really love you and it was great seeing you again. <laughs> i really love you too thank you miss <laughs> Thank you. That was a great You've been listening study. to Virtual Coffee with Don Rickabaugh. For more, please visit notequeen.com. Basically, let's get down to the basics. What is a note? It's a it's a promise to pay an IOU. I I owe you this money and I'm going to pay it back over these terms. Now in real estate, and ideally in if you're making a loan, you have a security instrument. That means if you don't keep your promise, you're going to lose the asset. It's, it's secured by an asset that can be retrieved and sold to get the lender out of their financial.